Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and today we'll be showing off the Fire Breather Flyer. This is a concept design I found online and finally, after a very long period of time, I've decided to make it in game. In, and I'm actually designing this in one no 0.90 version of KSP. Okay, so this is the last version of KSP that there was. And you know, when I finished making the design, what do you know, the new version of KSP is out. So I had to update the craft to the latest version of KSP. So this thing will work with KSP 1.0.0 and above. So in case any of you are wondering, in case when you in case you want to fly it and stuff. So if you have a look at the design aspect of it, of the craft in the bottom right hand corner, you see that it has some very interesting shapes with the wings and this is one of the reasons why I decided to use it. It's a pretty looking craft, it really is. And the concept design doesn't really have any writing about, you know, what engines it uses or whether it's an SSTO or whatever. I'm making it an SSTO and that's as far as it's gonna go. <laughs> and I hate that rhymes. Pretty cool, I like it. So when I moved this craft, migrated it from 0.90 KSP to the latest version, it would not fly. Okay, because when I did finish it in 0.90, this thing was able to go to the moon and back. Well, I, I didn't actually test it, but I knew it could. I knew it could, yeah, because that's the way it is. And the moment I moved it, migrated it to the new version of KSP, it couldn't lift off at all from the runway. I had to troubleshoot the issues with drag, because drag was it. Drag is now crazy in KSP. It's, it's absolutely annoying. That's something we all need to work on. And it's a problem because we, we make these crafts for aesthetics, but now with drag, you need to be careful about what you place because the drag and, and also the heat as well. Parts can overheat. And if they overheat and smash midair, you're in trouble. Okay, so that's another thing you need to worry about. But that's more, overheating is more user, user based. And what I'm referring to is, you know, if, if you see the part overheating, you just adjust your, your pitch, right? And that will lessen that heat a little, the atmospheric pressure on the craft. That's something you need to get used to. I'm wondering if you guys are getting used to that by now. <laughs> Not for me. Yeah, I need some more practice. I was a complete noob when the new came, new version of KSP came out. A bit troublesome, really. <laughs> so as you see here, the I'm actually placing the, the engine on the side there with a the ramp air intake. That's just for the design. As you see on the design has something like that. So if you could, why not do something similar? Uh, the end product actually has some rapier engines. We have about four from memory. Um, at the moment, this is a version where I did not have the rapier engines, but instead we had the the jet engines and, well, there's just one jet engine for now, but then I decided to add an extra just, just to get things done faster, of course. And the general shape here is a bit unusual, as you see here. If you From the underneath of the craft, it kind of, the, the parts are, the wings are on an angle, diagonally slightly. It's weird, it is a weird craft, but it looks cool. So yeah, I think the end product went well. Anyway, so when I updated to the new version, KSP, I had to actually ask a few people on, on the KSP forums, you know, what's going on with this craft? You know, it's not working too well as it was before. And so I did get some help from a couple people. I'd like to thank Scoundrel on KSP forums, and, and I'm not like, bullying him or anything that's his actual name on on the farmers okay so i'm not like attacking <laughs> that's a good name i like it and so scoundrel just gave me some basic advice on, on you know the craft what what could be done i didn't make all the changes that he suggested because i'm kind of running out of time i got three assignments due this week man <laughs> uh, i had to get a video done anyway so scoundrel i'll link him in the description to the case before him, so you guys can ask him whatever he might help you out and also like to thank Rolf Copter, KK Lol. He's a he's a uh, common subscriber, as in he's he's like always there. <laughs> yeah, a good, I think he's a good fan. That'd be a better way of saying it. A good fan, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so he actually made another version of the this, this design here, and you'll you'll see it eventually. And this here is the first time in KSP, the new update. This is me testing the craft when I migrated it, migrated it over. And it was just, it was so weird. It was like, why is it not an angle? Uh, and you see it bouncing. That's my fault with the, the the lift is a bit angled. I have to, I couldn't really fix that. The aesthetics kind of wrecked it. So that's, that's inevitable. You cannot stop it. 
It's just constant balancing. But I really, I just cannot get it to lift off at this point. So that's when I decided to, you know, ask online for a bit of assistance. I just pretty much just increased the, the lift by adding some more control services near the front part of the craft inside somewhere so you can't really see it. And this here is the, the finalized version, my version of the craft. And uh, it's, it's relatively functional with the pitch. The yaw and the roll don't even bother using them. <laughs> They're, they, they suck, okay, in, in, in appropriate terms for this craft. It, it's really, really bad. So just, just focus on the pitch. If you do want to turn left, you want to do a turn right, just use the pitch to do it, okay? <laughs> It'll be a bit difficult, but you'll get used to it eventually if you use this craft. Oh no, my computer's lagging. Now the video is look, uh, video doesn't look too good right now. I'm pre-recording, in case you're wondering. Ah, now I'd also like to address my my last video I made. Yeah, I was, there was this female talking on my channel. I don't know if you guys know about it. The, yeah, the last video, the female, Jenny. You guys know what Jenny is? <laughs> no, I was impersonating some female character. I just felt like doing it. It was quite funny. But it hurt, it hurt my voice after that, my, my throat. I, I couldn't really talk too much after that. <laughs> I won't do that again. But I still like to do impersonations every now and then, just minor stuff. So you see here, look at the overheating of the parts. That's actually quite interesting. Mm. This actually surprised me in the first time when I was testing this. I was like, wait, what are those things flashing everywhere? Why do I see these bars? Oh no, it's going red. Yeah, this is this is something really need to worry about now. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to do bad things anymore. Mm, that's too bad. It really is too bad. We're going to work around that kind of stuff. I do have an idea to work around the overheating. I don't know if it will work. Hmm. I'll have to see. I'll have to see what we can do about that. Otherwise, I'm happy with the new update. I'm wondering, are you guys happy with the update? I think it's great. I mean, obviously there were bugs when the update came out, but I didn't really play KSP that much when the when the update came out, so I didn't really experience any bugs. <laughs> Other than you guys, apparently, like there was a problem with Lath's atmosphere. So <laughs> I wonder what that was about. That would have been funny. Imagine like there's no atmosphere on Lath anymore. He's like, oh yeah, I want to land on Lathe. And you have these jet engines and it's like, not working. That would have been funny. If that was the issue, who knows. Then as you can see, we managed to get into orbit. Successful. Yay, I was so happy. With some leftover fuel, but the landing is a bit of a problem. Anyway, this is Rolf Copter KK Lowell's craft. His design it does vary from my one slightly. As you can see, he's using some air brakes. That's a pretty cool idea. I like the air brakes. I didn't know you could control, like they did, yeah, blah, 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 blah. The air brakes actually control the, the pitch. And one other thing, I forget what it was. Was it the yaw or was it roll? I forget. Anyway, you, you can use the air brakes as wings, basically, <laughs> in short term. So that's really cool. I like that. And the, the only problem with Rolf Copter KK Lowell's design is that there isn't really enough thrust. Uh, my one has enough thrust so that you can actually travel vertical up in the atmosphere and you'll be fine. Whereas this one, you need to go a bit horizontal. At this point, I wasn't paying attention so that I had to do like a last minute adjustment. I was doing some other stuff. As you can see here, we're gathering up speed. Eventually we get into that red hot zone and parts may be damaged. I hope not. But I'm happy with the craft. This one here is cool design. Yeah, that's about it. I, I don't have anything else to talk about, I think. Yeah, that will do, I guess. So let's talk about uh, the future of future projects. Any future project you guys want me to do in KSP, something that doesn't require a thousand parts. Because <laughs> again, we need to worry about the frame limit, frame rate and all that. That's one thing project that does not overdo the part count and other than that I think that's about it yeah I don't know let's let's think about something maybe we could do I mean we have these resource collection stuff now so we can mine out resources that's really cool we can make a simple design that would basically travel to every single planet every single moon and um, except for like jewel as a guest planet like we don't want to go there <laughs> Maybe we go to like Leith and stuff around it, but nah, not getting a jaw. Or maybe that'd be a good challenge. Let's let's say 
someone has to say stay within Jules atmosphere at a certain altitude for a long period of time and eventually that has to be able to get back into orbit around Jewel. Ooh, that'd be a nice challenge. A very difficult one at like that. Oh, Heretic, you're so creative. Yeah, see the, see there, the, there's the impersonation right there. <laughs> that, that wasn't Jenny, that was, that was Bob. <laughs> that wasn't really Bob, that was probably like a grandma or something. Anyway, I think that's about it. I'd like to thank Scoundrel for his suggestions, for assistance and all that. Rolf Copter for his design. I'll link him in the uh, description as well. So that's about it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.